You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Ball. What's going on, NASCAR Diecast Collectors and Diecast Reviews on YouTube? This is Richard Big Brian here, and welcome back to another new episode of the NASCAR Authentics Diecast Reviewing Series on my YouTube channel. And today I'll be reviewing yet another 2016 slash 2017 diecast for all you guys who are tuning in for this review then you guys are in for a real treat because I will be touching on another Ford driver and it's actually going to be on the Ford car uh, driven by himself, Mr. Ryan Blaney and his 2016 slash 2017 Ford Motorcraft Ford Fusion for the Wood Brothers Racing Team. Now this is a cool car that I recently uh, just picked up actually a couple months ago when uh, the seventh wave from 2016 came out. So yeah, it's been about a good year or so. I don't know why I said months. I just wanted to feel a little more, you know, uh, uh, prioritized. But anyways, here is the car. Looks very nice. It's, it's got the traditional packaging and the, uh, the traditional front packaging. And then speaking of more of the packaging, we got the back which you know you know nothing too crazy right there most of it is just about copyrighted stuff so you know all that fun stuff right there and also you got the back of this which has the collect them all from wave 7 for 2016 um so hopefully this one guy this review won't be uh, confusing for you guys but we're gonna go ahead and unbox this bad boy and take a closer look at the ryan blaney ford motorcraft diecast Alrighty, everybody, we got this diecast out of its box, and it looks just beautiful and gorgeous as always, guys. But before we do that, guys, we're gonna go ahead and look at the diecast trinket or the magnet that's coming for this car, and it is the 2016 car, by the way. But I will be looking at the 2017 car as well, um, just by a side comparison or a scene through the comparisons of which diecast you could buy. But here is the uh, magnet that comes with this. Well, it's not really a magnet; it's more like a plastic piece. But um, I, this car is really cool, though. I mean, uh, for the 2016 version, guys, you will be getting this plastic could which I do like I mean I think it really does stand out however though for the 2017 model guys you will get a magnet which is the uh, the with the uh, it's actually a three-dimensional magnet so something similar to like this but it's actually um, the driver's helmet the side view of it if you guys have seen it then watch David Land's review on that car but uh, really nice right there but anyways we're gonna get back to the die cast itself and you guys probably wonder why this is not the 2017 car well there are some good reasons why I did not pick up the 2017 car because as you see right here, I have the 2016 car right in front of me. So we're gonna look at three little three a little uh, 360 view, and I will give you guys my little opinions about this diecast. I mean, um, of course, I will be touching about the uh, comparisons very soon, as I do not have the 2017 diecast with me. I have seen it at Walmart, at Target, but. That's mostly all right there. But, yeah, Ryan Blaney is a, uh, you know, a, he, he's going to be, you know, the new face for Penske next year. Uh, we'll be, you know, in the third car for them. I think he's taking over the 12. And also, I think Menards is stepping on board with him. So, that's going to be really cool right there. Um, so, it looks like Ryan, Bla Ryan Blaney is really rising up in the ranks. And, um be really cool to see that happening guys i mean he definitely showed off a good performance uh at pocono the, the first pocono race from this year and ended up getting his first win in the uh monster energy nascar cup series so very nice right there i mean it was only a matter of time we were going to see this kid go out and get some wins but i um, glad to see the wood brothers back in victory lane i mean it's been since what like the day 2500 from 2011 since we've seen this car in victory lane but now we're gonna get on to the um I guess you can kind of say um, spot the differences. I guess I'll be a new segment that we'll have, even though I didn't really say that on my Stenhouse uh, Sunny D car. But um, depending when, whether I upload, whenever I upload these reviews, I mean, who knows? I might be out of order, uh, but that's what's gonna make it entertaining. But the first um, thing right off the bat, of course, the name banners. As you guys know, this car was also released from Wave Four in 2017 and does not have the name banners. So. Good reason why I like the 2016 model a little bit better, because just of that. I mean, uh, still don't know why Lionel doesn't do that. I know I have to point out every Minds of Review, but, you know, for any new viewers who are watching, they are probably always wondering why um, we have blank windshields on the 2017 cars. Um, another another obvious reason, we got the Sprint Cup Series logo and the, um, <laughs> the uh, Snoka Rookie of the Year, which um, it's also on the back as well with the rookie stripes. So those are mostly, I think, all I got to say is just uh, the differences and that may be a good reason why i did not pick up the 2017 model however though guys if you guys did miss out on this car um i would recommend getting um the ryan blaney car from 2017 because this car was released at wave seven from last year so i highly doubt any of the walmarts or toys r us's or targets i have those anymore unless you know you're your walmarts and toys r us's and targets are really far behind which i would feel sorry for you guys at this point but 
I would recommend getting this car whether whatever year you got it from. I mean, you know, it's going to be really cool because we're going to have another new driver in the 21 car next year. Um, who knows who it's going to be? I, I, I mean, uh, I think they said Paul Menard is probably going to be. Uh, yeah, I think Paul Menard is the one who's taking over the 21. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> I mean, I can't say we're going to see him in victory lane, but uh, no offense to Paul Menard. He hasn't really been showing the performance than he has since, um, you know, 2011, ironically. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, if you're a Ryan Blaine fan, I recommend picking up both. I mean, but for the magnet wise, I mean, if you wily, I mean, depends what magnet you want, and so then either diecast looks cool. If you want the hood, then get the 2016 version. If you want the helmet magnet, then get the 2017 version, guys. But either way, guys, I would recommend getting this car because or having a Ryan Blaine diecast in your collection, especially for any Astro Athletics fans out there, which this is what this review is dedicated for you guys. I would recommend getting this because it's going to look very well with all the other Penske cars that we have for this year. Um, with Brad Kozlowski and Joey Logano. So uh, hoping we're going to see some more Ryan Blaney diecast in the NASCAR Authentic Sweeps. Probably by next year because he'll be in Penske. But one more thing I got to say about this diecast, guys. A really nice, cool buy. Plain and simple and a really classy driver as well. As, um, you know, maybe Ryan Blaney will probably be uh, one of my top favorites um, in the next few years or so. Um, I know Trex is my favorite, but we'll see how that goes right there. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Ryan Blaney 2016-2017 slash Ford Motorcraft, Ford Fusion for the Wood Brothers Racing Team. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please give a good comment, like. If you guys have not already, I highly encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel for any more of the latest NASCAR Authentics news and NASCAR Authentics diecast um, reviews to come. But until then, guys, this is Ridge Big Bryce signing off. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next NASCAR Authentics diecast review.